Well, yesterday, President Barack Obama signed the 2013 National Defense Authorization Act, despite threats that he might veto the bill. He then released a statement saying, in part, that he's approved the annual defense authorization legislation as he's done in previous years because it authorizes essential support for service members and their families. It renews vital uh, national security programs and helps ensure that the United States will continue to have the strongest military in the world. Now, the president went on to say he signed the law because he supports the majority of the provisions, but he does not agree with all of them, and then named several of those that he disagreed with. Section 533, for example, because he says the military already protects the freedom of conscience, and others like sections 1027 and 1028, because they limit the powers of the executive branch. He didn't mention anything about section 1021, one of the, one of the most controversial aspects of the NDAA. The 2012 version of the bill gave the military the power to arrest and hold people, including Americans, without charge and without the writ of habeas corpus. Now, California Senator Dianne Feinstein had introduced an amendment in December that would have forbidden indefinite detention of Americans, and it passed in the Senate, but it was later stripped from the final version of the bill. The executive director of the ACLU responded to all of this by saying this was a major fail on the part of the Obama administration. Adding, quote, his signature means indefinite detention without charge or trial, as well as illegal military commissions, will be extended. He also has jeopardized his ability to close Guantanamo Bay during his presidency. Scores of men who have already been held for nearly 11 years without being charged uh, with a crime, including more than 80 who have been cleared for transfer, may very, very well be imprisoned unfairly for yet another year. The president should use whatever discretion he has in the law to order many of the detainees transferred home and finally step up next year to close Guantanamo and bring a definite end to indefinite detention. That end doesn't appear to be anytime soon. This newly signed law could be an early sign that despite a fresh start, we could be looking at more of the same from President Obama's first term.